Introducing the all-new Corolla. Eleven doctors and eight nurses and support staff joined the recent medical mission to the Philippines to help victims of Typhoon Yolanda. And in a matter of three days, the team served 2,856 patients from fetuses to the elderly in areas where access to health care was very limited. The first day of the mission in Daan Bantay in Cebu, the team saw 595 patients. In this being his first medical mission, internal medicine physician Dr. Felix Cabrera reflects on what that first day was like. When it's a disaster relief medical mission, you expect to see a lot of, you know, you, th you think about trauma, you think about infections, things like that that happen uh, immediately after the, the storm. Um, so that was kind of my mind frame there. But this being that we're two weeks post uh, typhoon, I knew that that was going to change a little bit. And the focus were going to be a little bit probably more on infection. While many of his patients were indeed suffering from infectious diseases caused by a typhoon, Dr. Cabrera also says that, like many impoverished areas in the Philippines, this was a province that needed medical attention anyway. What became painfully obvious was that this was an area that needed a medical mission regardless. Um, and that the typhoon itself was just a catalyst uh, to get us there. Um, and that you take this situation and you multiply it numerous times throughout um, many parts of the Philippines and, and let's face it, the world as well. As a medical expert, Dr. Cabrera realized in the few hours he spent at the first mission site that many of the residents had never seen a doctor in their life. In a lot of cases, these were patients that had never, probably have never seen a doctor, period, ever in their life. And, um, and probably had these so many things stored up and wanted to just get the chance to uh, have these things addressed. And, and they were very grateful. And, and I, think, um, I think we made a difference. I can safely say that, that our impact was probably very great in, in these situations. And we prevented a lot of major diseases. And, we, and in all likelihood, we prevented a lot of um, premature deaths. For OBGYN Dr. Tom Shea, helping our sister nation was instinct. As a doctor, it was about the human spirit, but being from Guam, it was also about the half a day spirit, he says. It's a humanistic uh, feel that we have to reach out to help. And as a doctor, that's how we feel. You know, we're, we're, we're taught to treat, make diagnosis, but we're also taught to have some altruistic mean to life. And that's what we try to do, to reach out to the people. And Guam is always about family, the network, and the half a day spirit. So when we heard that, you know, a bunch of doctors got together. His licensed professional nurse, Grace Salamara, also joined the mission. At 26 years old, Salamara was the youngest member of the team. But even at that age, Salamara handled it like a pro, saying that not once did it feel like work for her. It actually didn't feel like work. I, I was actually happy to help these people and my people, my Kababayans. So it was good to be a part of it. We saw a lot of um, OB patients in line. Um, a lot of them, some of them are even even high risk. Um, we, I even saw a patient um, in line that had a huge goiter. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the patients didn't even have um, any prenatal care. For me, this was the first mission for me in the Philippines, underground. And, um, and I'll do it again. 